This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Miss Lucy Wildheart. Lucy, thanks for giving me some of your time today. How are we? Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, all all good, all good. My end. How are you? I'm oh, good. Thanks. Good. All the better for speaking to yourself. Um, yeah, we've got a fair few things to cover. Just first, jumping straight in. How excited are you that your fight with Sky Nicholson is out there announced? We've seen the posters, and everyone can get excited. I mean, I I've wanted to have this fight for quite a long time. I said to my manager, like even before summer, like, uh, you know, I want to fight her. I want to fight on a big stage. Um, you know, I love Matchroom. Um, I wanted to fight with them for for yeah as long as I can remember. Since even before I uh, moved to England, I thought oh Matchroom be good for me. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited, and also you know it's gonna be on such a massive show in Dublin, Ireland, like Katie Taylor, Shonda Cameron and all the others as well. Like, it's just wow <laughs> about it. I'm excited. Yeah, I was going to say, does it make a difference that it's on a massive night in Dublin in terms of, I know as a fan, it would be a fight you would want to watch. But I guess you can't even focus on watching Katie and Chantel because you've got your fight. So does it make too much of a difference or is it kind of ramp it up a bit that, that it's on a big bill? Um... No, you, I mean, it, it's it's just not a venue, really. Like, it's just not a fight, if you see it that way. But, yeah, um, I wish I could be there and see them as well. Um, I Hopefully, I can come out after and watch their fight. And uh, I'd like to see all the others on the undercard as well. But I do need to focus on myself and my fight. You know, it's it's a big fight. Even um, my, uh, my me, me and Sky's fight, um, it's a huge fight as well. So, you know, we need to focus on that one um, mainly. But, yeah, I wish I could just do all of it. Because <laughs> I, I literally, I can't wait to see, see the people, the Irish people, um, hear them. Um, I've never been in Ireland before, so I'm super excited to go there. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, let me tell you one thing. The roof will blow off that place. It is so loud in there. Um, I just want to talk about last time out. In what was it, April time, late notice, Michaela Meyer went the distance, nicked a couple of rounds on most people's cards. Look, I know obviously you're a sportswoman, you celebrate winning, but you must have walked away from that experience, head held high, 100%. Yeah, you know, I, I walked away as the winner in that fight. It was a win to me um, for many reasons. You know, it's such a short notice. I took the fight, I was super excited by the fight. I was I was so happy in that fight and I felt afterwards, I felt like this is where I'm supposed to be. You know, it's so much more fun to fight when you fight really good people. Um, it happens more, it's more excitement. Like, I love Michaela Maya. I follow her for, for a long time. I she She's such an, she, she seemed to be a very nice lady and she was as well, you know, she come had a chat afterwards and all that and it was just lovely. Um, so, yeah, that was a win to me. Uh, you know, maybe that fight set me up with this fight, which is where I'm supposed to be. This is featherweight now with Sky. And this is, you know, this is my division. So I took the opportunity with Maya, which is two divisions above as well. And she's much bigger than me. We, we all know that. And uh, to, you know, showcase what I can do, show that I'm supposed to be here. And I, I delivered, and I knew I would deliver, even if it was the last minute. I mean, if I got more notice, you know, I would have maybe, you know, trained a little bit different or, you know, I, it's different when you can train for something. Because also in, in what's the November, the year before, I injured my knee. Um, so in December, January, I didn't train boxing. I wasn't really allowed and I shouldn't twist on it. I did my fitness, my strength, you know, strength conditioning as, as good and I built into it. So... Basically, just February, March, I go into back into boxing about two days a week. I had no sparring. So I literally went straight into Michaela Maya without any sparring. And then I put off such a great performance. You know, I, I'm, I was so happy with myself. You know, boxing is about showing things for crowds and entertain all that. But it's also for boxing, it's about your feeling, your emotions and how you feel, how proud you are of yourself. And that's what we all need to kind of also think about, you know, what makes us happy as well. Yeah, no, it was a brilliant performance at such short notice. And you mentioned about your weight, returning to the weight you're comfortable at with a full camp behind you. 
you must be excited to show everyone 100% new at this world level because we haven't seen that yet. And I know people want to see that and we're going to get to see that now in Dublin. I know, it's, 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 you know, I always think about, it. oh, I just, you know, I just wish I can show the world what I've been training on, what I've been doing and what, what what's the real loose of wild art. And I've waited for that. I've waited 10 years. Okay, four, five, six years ago, I wasn't, I wasn't that good. <laughs> but I've, I've built into it. And like, I think now is my time. I really believe now is my time. And I, I've had the patience and I've, I've tried to put myself in this situation and this position over a very long time. And it's, honestly, it hasn't been easy. It's been so hard in many, many ways, everything around boxing as well. It's just been very difficult. But I think it started lightening up now. And uh, yeah, now now it's time to, to make it, you know, strap season. Yeah. Basically. Right. The bits you can share, how do you beat Scott Nicholson? Or how does this fight go? I know obviously you're not going to completely open up, but the bits you can share, how do you beat Sky? Um, You know, I'm going to win the fight. I think most people actually believe it as well. But I, I believe I'm winning this fight. I can't share how I'm going to beat her. Um. You know, that's my, I don't just think Just in case she she's would... watching, just in case she, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think she would uh, tell everyone how she's going to try to beat me either. So I can't share that. But what I can share is it's going to be an epic fight. I can just feel, I can just feel it. She's going to give everything. I'm going to give everything. It's going to be such an amazing, because we both are very skillful. And, you know, we, we, we're fit, we're skillful. Uh, we, we can put on entertainment. Just... Like, just imagine if you put those three puzzles together, what an amazing fight it can be. And I, I look forward. I want, I actually, I'm not a rude person. I hate uh, bullying and bullshit and all this. This, this, you know, it can go in the bin. So I really hope that she look good, I look good, and I win. <laughs> You've just given a great sales pitch. You might as well have been Eddie Hearn. Oh, uh, I, you know what? I, I, that's another thing. I really look forward to, to you know, shake his hand as well. Um, yeah, I look forward to that in Dublin. That'd be good. Yeah. Well, obviously, we know you said you're excited to fight, or you have been on a Matchroom show. We know Matchroom have helped grow female boxing. Um, even five years ago, you would have never got such excitement around female fights, and now they're on every single card. I guess that must be part of why you're so excited to fight on Matchroom, the way they've pushed female boxing. They've had most of the biggest fights over the last five or six years. Yeah, and 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 they're trying. You know, it's it's not easy with female boxing either, because obviously everyone is not watching it. But us, the skill level for for women, um, going up, more people will watch it, and it's keep growing. And especially when they put on such a huge, amazing shows like Chantal Cameron and Katie Taylor, make this happen and make it massive, then more people is gonna watch it and enjoy it and like it. Um, so. You know, keep keep going. Put those shows on and let us show what we can do. Um, yeah, it's um, I don't know what to say. It's um, it's all good. It's it's getting there. It's getting there, and I'm I'm super proud to be part of it as well. You know, um, keep helping with you know building the history uh, of women boxing, not only for for England. I represent England. It's a big heart. I'm gonna stay in England for the rest of my life. Um, I'm born in Sweden. I'm going to represent Sweden as well. But then over time, it's going to be the world. You know, it's more. This is going to reach out. This show is going to reach out to so many people around the world, and it's going to be so good. Yeah, I mean, I cannot wait for for fight week in <laughs> Dublin. Um, talk to you about camp. So Sam Mullins, Churchill's, I know Rosanna Cox is there. Joanna Wanyu. I saw Bivol was even in there the other day. Um, talk to you about how training's going at Churchill and camp you must be flying because I suppose when you're around a gym that's buzzing everyone kind of chips in and it's just quite a good feeling there at the moment yeah it's it's a nice gym I've been uh, been in there since it was built and um uh you know consistent training very happy happy feeling in there sometimes we, we graft and we grind but other days we laugh and we work we like we mix it all together and Especially the best thing with church is is so different people in there. We, we used to say when well, it's a p p people from different parts of the world, but together we're strong, you know, and we have fun, and we have a great coach, Sam and Obed. Obed, 
everyone has their little part and it's you know you can feel home feel yourself um or you can be yourself and everything in there which is i think that's what's helping and growing and i think people see i mean churches is on the map now and we have all together built that um so yeah well well done to sam you know for 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 being you know the main part of the puzzle really yeah, yeah, it is a wicked gym. I've been down there many times and it is uh, a brilliant gym. Um, as much as for yourself now, it's focused for the fight with Sky. You must be excited for what could be to come after Featherweight's a wicked division. Um, obviously, one of the sports greats in Amanda Serrano sits with three belts, which she's defending this Friday. Um, it's just a genuinely exciting time to be a Featherweight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great division. Everything around like 57 up to 62 kilo or something like that. Like, there are... It's kind of little the nest where people wanna be. Um, so it's it's good people around, and it's even getting better people. And I want I want to fight great people. That, that that's that's what what I like. Um, so yeah, we win this fight. We do a couple more fights, even you know even better better people. Hopefully, I'm on Serrano in the end if, if she's up for it. Um, but I might have to to wait, but I don't want to wait. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, one step at a time.